guys and welcome back to another video today i am finally switching out my stock steering wheel for an aftermarket steering wheel so right here i have my energy short hub and my energy quick release so i have had these sitting for a while honestly and i've just been waiting until i got my steering wheel and it kind of took a while so that giveaway that i keep saying i was gonna do it is gonna be in this video finally so today i'm just gonna be doing a steering wheel install with the energy short hub and the quick release but before i get started with that i just want to say thank you guys so much for 21,000 subscribers and all the support you guys always show me and to make sure you stay till the end of the video to see what i'm giving away you can probably already kind of tell it has to do with what this video is about as well so yeah, um, if you want to see the giveaway, make sure you stay tuned and I'll be going over all of the rules and how to win this prize. And I also wanted to quickly mention that my brand is fully live on the website at streetbliss.co. A little intro that you probably saw in the beginning is what is up right now currently and I am working on some new stuff so be expecting a new drop. Let me show you guys the serum wheel that I got. So this is the... I really don't know how to say the name. I feel like I butcher it every time and it could be said maybe different ways. So I did get the Vellanti, Vellan, Vellanti, and then I feel like I'm saying my old taillights, Vellanti. I have followed them for a while and I love majority of the steering wheels. They manufacture a lot of other brand steering wheels and they make them for them. So I know this is a really good brand and I'm really excited to finally get this one. I've always seen this steering wheel. I just like always contemplated on getting it. I was just like, should I? Should I not? But I finally pulled the trigger on it and I was like, you know what? It's cute. I like it and a lot of people might not like it because they might think it's cheesy. But you know what? It doesn't matter because at first I kind of thought it was cheesy, but I was like, you know what? It's exactly what I'm looking for. Why would I not get it? So this is the steering wheel that I got. It just says, again, in loser, we're going on a field trip. I love just going on little cruises, so I just feel like it made sense. It has these little pink broken hearts, and it says their name. It's just right there. And the stitching all throughout is pink and white, which is literally... My car is pink and white all throughout. I was looking for a black steering wheel with pink and white accents and this was perfect. I really didn't want to get an all pink steering wheel because I do plan on getting some new seats and like just the whole little theme I got going on in my head just wouldn't make sense with an all pink steering wheel. I would have a lot of different pinks going on and I didn't like that. So I feel like this was perfect. The right amount of pink, you know. And on the back it just has a little broken heart as well and right here it says be right back so yeah i think it's super cute let me know what you guys think if you hate it if you love it if you're iffy about it it's okay it just comes with all the little screws the allen key and the horn wire it comes with your little horn I did get the leather one. I just don't trust myself with Alcantara. I eat all the time while I drive. I'm drinking all the time. I spill all the time. I am such a mess that I feel like an Alcantara steering wheel is just not ideal. It's not going to last me long at all. It's just going to get dirty really fast. So I thought a leather one would just make more sense. Firstly, before we do that, we got to remove the stock steering wheel. The first thing we are going to be doing is disconnecting the battery so this airbag does not explode in our face when we start taking it off. So I'm gonna go and do that. So we're going to be disconnecting the battery and you're gonna need a 10 millimeter to disconnect it right here. You must kiss me more often from now on. You know something? I feel this is my first victory over machine. There are three clips that you're gonna need to take off and you can use a flathead for this. So the first one can be right here. The other one is right under the steering wheel other one is right is this one so we're just gonna get those three out oh my god I really I really couldn't see that clip now that you got the airbag off both of the airbag wires and the horns you're just going to be taking off both of these and all you need is a flathead i'm going to gently do this and just disconnect them 
and then you're gonna want to take off the wire for the horn. So there's a little clip for the horn one, you just pinch it all together and take it out. Now you got your entire airbag off, so we're just gonna put this aside. So you're gonna need a 17 millimeter to take off this bolt in the middle. You don't wanna take it off all the way because when you start pulling on this, it's really hard on there, so when you yank it, you might hit yourself. Don't loosen it all the way, just enough to have space to pull it out, like that. And you're gonna shake it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now you're just gonna pull out the steering wheel and you wanna keep these wires and just kind of feed them through the little loophole and make sure your clock spring does not move. So just be very, very careful. If you do wanna keep your horn, you're gonna want to get this blue wire and it is connected to the cruise control. So there's just this little clip in here a little clip in here that you're just gonna pop out and then we're gonna reconnect it. I'm afraid not. You're gonna want to put on the resistors for your airbag so your airbag light doesn't come on. I already did this one. You're gonna need some electrical tape as well. This is what the resistor looks like. It is in the energy box. Put it in these two little holes right there. It doesn't matter which. Like that. And then you're gonna get some electrical tape so it doesn't move around. I'm just gonna start wrapping it. I wanna get this tight. So it doesn't move around. So now that I have the resistors on and I have my electrical tape, they are not going anywhere. So now you're going to want to get your short hub and you want to make sure the energy is facing up and this little white dot. I'm just going to start attempting to tuck all of this in the bag. And then you're going to want to feed through this blue wire, which is your horn, into there. And take off my tape. Oh no, they moved. Okay. I think it's on there. I'm gonna put in back the 17 millimeter just so nothing is moving. Okay, so now you're gonna grab your quick release and grab this little piece that connects to it. And you're going to connect these wires so you have the yellow one's going to connect to the blue one and it's going to be your horn and then these are going to be the ground you want to make sure the energy is facing up but i still say they're flowers if you like so this you want to wrap because if you don't it's going to start touching the metal and your horn's going to start going off randomly potentially I feel the 
is my first victory over machines. It's quite simple. So I did want to show you guys how this goes on. I'm still learning, I'm not an expert, and I'm gonna try and do it with one hand. But you just wanna push it in all the way, and then, oh my gosh, it's the ding. If you are looking for the one that dings, it is the 2.0 one. The infamous ding. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if you guys can hear me because I am on the freeway, but honestly, Yesterday when I drove it for the first time I was like this feels so weird it really just kind of pushes everything so far out Definitely I have to get used to it But I drove it a little bit last night and I'm already starting to get like a feel for it and I'm feeling more safer with it I guess I want to show you guys more of it It's so close to me that this is the furthest angle I can get while driving the horn does work the main thing right now that I see is the biggest pet peeve I have is the turn signal. This is my hand stretched out all the way and it still doesn't touch it. And I mean, I have pretty long nails. Even my nails don't touch it. So it's really, really far. I have to basically put my hand out straight in order for me to reach it, which is actually really, really annoying and inconvenient just for like the little time that I've been driving it. I definitely think I'm gonna get an extension for it because I know they do sell it and yeah that's mainly the main concern I have right now is that overall I'm liking the steering wheel it feels really good um, at first it was kind of weird like to hold it I was just kind of up here but I'm starting to get used to it so far so good okay so now that we're at the end of the video it's time for the giveaway and the prize and the giveaway rules what i'm going to be giving away is of course a steering wheel for one of you guys I did really want to get the same steering wheel for us to match but i didn't know how people would feel about having this steering wheel i know a lot of people think it's really cheesy or like a corny saying so i didn't want to get it and then have someone win it and like they don't like it i just want to get a really simple yet versatile wheel but still looks good so of course i had to go with dnd &D, and i really wanted one myself but they don't have any that has any pink accents and that's what i was looking for they do have really good quality steering wheels so of course i had to get something really great for you guys that. welcome to the team DMV. So i try to get something that would fit majority of cars and honestly if i couldn't find any other steering wheel that had pink accents and if i had to choose one it was going to be this one so if i wouldn't have found this steering wheel or any other ones to like match my theme that i'm going i would have chosen this one so this is the steering wheel so it is Alcantara because honestly, Alcantara just does look better than the leather. Even though I got leather, but it's just because I'm such a messy person. Like, I don't trust myself. But Alcantara overall just looks way better. It looks so much classier and sleeker and just really good overall. So I did get the black one with the red accents and the red stitching. I feel like this would fit mostly any car. I think this would fit my car. I feel like red accents always go with cars no matter the color. So I did get that. Little D&D &D is engraved in there and it's super nice, super sleek. You get this and then and it comes with a D&D &D horn. So it comes with the airbag resistors and then for your horn and just a bunch of screws and stuff. A little D&D &D sticker if you want to represent your new steering wheel on your car. You can do that. So if you guys do want to win this steering wheel, the first rule is to make sure you are subscribed to my channel since this is a giveaway for my subscribers and my supporters. You have to be subscribed. And the second rule is to like this video. So the third rule is going to be one of the main entries that I'm looking for. So just comment down below where you're going to be putting this steering wheel, whether it's on your car or a future car or if you're just going to put it on your wall. Or maybe you want to gift it to someone if you already have your steering wheel and you win it and you know someone that wants it. Just let me know what you plan to do with this steering wheel or where it's gonna go or if it's just gonna sit there, that's fine too. Those are the main three rules and I will be checking. So this giveaway, I believe, will stay open for maybe two weeks or until my next upload or next two uploads. 
I have a really rocky uploading schedule, so I don't want to say in my next video or my next two videos, but I do want to leave it open for maybe two weeks around there. This giveaway is only for the United States, unfortunately. I do need to figure out international shipping. I do plan on having even bigger giveaways and more giveaways that I do want to do internationally. I hope you guys are excited about this one. I'm really excited about this one. I've been waiting to do this giveaway for a while now. I know it took a while. But we are here now. I wish you guys all the best of luck. I just wanted to say thank you guys again for all the support you guys give me. I am so, so grateful and appreciative of everything. And yeah, it just makes me feel so happy. So this is the least I can do to give you guys back something. Wish everyone some good luck. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.